everyone, and welcome back to Mew Lives, the kitten rescue cafe. And we are not actually at our cafe right now because, as you guys know, there are not any kittens to rescue just yet because we are busy watching Amelia work her way up from the beginning. And right now, she's very busy working at a different bakery. And I cannot believe this place. This is so amazing. So this is, I think, called the Yummy for Tummy Bakery. And I just downloaded it really quickly off the gallery so Amelia could have somewhere to like experience different foods and start figuring out different flavors like the cereal topped donuts or perhaps the bread pudding and see you know what people like and it's always good to have a broad palette as a chef so that she can figure out what she wants to put in her cafe but this is just like look at this the rainbow gelatin cake the fruit and yogurt parfait this carrot cake looks divine oh my gosh look at the swirly dudes on it my goodness gracious but while she has been here uh i pretended while she was away um da -da -da -da, while she was away as an assistant dishwasher which she just finished up we were pretending this is the place she works and i was thinking it's kind of cool she was washing dishes moving around and uh then she needed to go to the restroom and i was like oh amelia where are you going yeah there's the restrooms right over here apparently oh my gosh wait a second what is that what is this? So this place is actually super swanky. Look at the little hidden uh, apartments they've got for their workers. I was laughing so hard when I found this. So I think this is actually like an upscale, maybe corporate level, but really fancy uh, boutique of baked goods. And it doesn't quite have the home and the heart feeling that Amelia wants to offer with the side helping of cuddling kittens at her bakery. I mean, look at all the like rules and things that we have plastered over here. But I just thought this was really funny. So I thought as a dishwasher, she has no idea this place exists because it's they're like too good for her, basically. But if she continues to work for them and maybe befriends some of the employees here, maybe she'll have access to this area. But I, I don't know what they would think about her wanting to open her own bakery. Maybe they think you can only do that if you have a ton of money. So they might laugh at her because maybe who knows how much research went into figuring out this shade of pink on the decals that they put on the walls. Uh, so maybe it's like some sort of hoity-toity thing, or maybe they're super nice and they'd be supportive, uh, or maybe they'd find her to be competition. Who knows? We'll have to see. I don't think that they even care. I think that right now, if she said, I want to run a bakery, they might kind of giggle at her because look who's come to eat food at this bakery. It's Thorn. Thorn the superstar is here with the paparazzi all around him to come and eat at this baked goods store. So clearly they're doing fine and they might not see her as any kind of threat or her food, uh, but I think that they're they're nice enough. So yeah, that's my, my theory. We're going to have her work here as a dishwasher basically. I don't think they think that she's any competition because she has zero stars for anything in her life. She doesn't even have any fame. Her grandma occasionally here. We're going to we're going to actually Instagram about her first day really quickly. Uh, and we'll have Clover. Clover's wandering around somewhere. He chased some birds and gave us some feathers. Uh, and we'll talk to Clover in a second. In fact, Clover. All right. We're going to let Clover come over. <laughs> we'll figure out. We'll come out here to, to figure out what Clover's up to. But I love the idea that there's some sort of exclusive elite place downstairs that we have no idea about. Oh, but the best image ever. This is so cool. So the Simstagram that Amelia uploads all her pictures to. Uh, oh, is that Izzy? What is happening? It is Izzy Fabulous. Oh my gosh, there's so many Sims here. Maybe we should say hello. Like, I mean, we would stop, probably say hello to everybody, but to be honest, I think that we would stop and say hello because Amelia would be like, oh, I love your hair. Yeah. Like just really I innocently. I don't think she's life. up on like modern everything at the moment, like for who's celebrities, uh, who's who in the celebrity world. So I, at least I don't think so, but I think that she might like just like his hair. And then when she realizes she's talking to Izzy Fabulous, maybe get excited. She wants to be his friend. Let's ask him about his interests. Like, oh wow, are you here to like get some cupcakes? I love cupcakes too. Oh my gosh, this place is so crowded. I don't know if she'd recognize Thorn. Oh yes, good job, Clover. We'll go ahead and we will actually get those feathers in just a minute here. 
All right, our cat is actually distracting us. Look at the berry macaroons. 400 samoles. I can't afford that. Oh, Izzy didn't give us the time of day. All right, let's go ahead and open these these feathers that we were just given. Man, it is so crowded. What did you just do? Those were my feathers. I was going to get those. The employees cleaned it up. You can't see that's that's the kind of atmosphere they have here. Clearly, this is not a place that we would want to work uh, because forever or to run like this because they're sweeping away the cats. And oh no, and Clover's afraid of something. We don't have time for for talking to Izzy then. If our cat is afraid of something, Clover, where are you? Oh my gosh, he somehow got stuck downstairs. <gasps> the employees! This That scratches everything. The employees are, especially with Thorn and the paparazzi here, chasing away our cat. This is unacceptable. Here, we're going to have him come back upstairs. They even chased away, like, the feathers that he brought us. This is not the kind of life that we want. Uh, oh, but did she just Simstagram? I think she just Simstagrammed herself with the celebrities. So we'll go ahead and do another little Simstagram story. I was just like, you wouldn't believe how busy the bakery was tonight, Grandma. Because we're saying that she has her Simstagram right now for sharing with her grandma. There you are, Clover. Yay, we got even more pictures from, or even more fame from that. There we go. See, Clover, I'm so glad you're here. Let's go ahead and become companions because we love you. And then let's pick up his feathers that he got and hide them in our inventory. Because the people here are clearly chasing away cats. I think they found her cat and they told her she can't bring her cat to work anymore. Which is totally uncool. And then let's actually pick up Clover. And you know what? Let's get an idea. Like, this guy must be some sort of movie star is what we're realizing. So why don't we get a picture of Clover and uh, Thorn and see how that, what Grandma thinks about that. Oh, look how excited Amelia seems by that. That's so cute. All right. Oh my gosh, Clover. <laughs> oh, why is this pose so hilarious? Oh my gosh. Oh, but it just was. Look, it's Clover and Thorns. Oh, wait, 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 wait. With a little bit of effort, we could actually get Clover and Thorn in a picture together. Our very first celebrity sighting with our cat. If only we had a better camera, then we could have really showed Grandma how amazing this is. Let's go ahead and add to some serum story because we're going to share it with Grandma. Grandma! Clover actually met Thorn. I don't know much about him, but apparently he's a popular singer. I think he's a singer. Maybe, like, we, when was the last time... Look at our cat just going in circles around us. When was the last time we had a radio? This woman can't afford anything. But let's see what feathers he actually got. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to actually put up a couple of these on the walls because that's amazing. Uh, let's actually see what kind of feathers she got. So let's go open up both of them. We might even start a collection. In fact, it'd be kind of fun. These are our very first feathers from Clover. Oh, he's hungry. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? We're going to head out of here. We have an extra cardinal feather. 60 samoles. Thank you, Clover. Maybe we'll get the whole collection, actually. Because I think you get a perk from completing a collection. Let's look over here really quickly. Insects, maybe, uh, with all of the ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we only need seven more. So let's save those feathers as little gifts from her cat. She would not get rid of things very quickly. But let's get out of here. They clearly don't want our cat, uh, unfortunately, which is such a pity. But I forgot to mention this. Here, let's go ahead and cuddle Clover because we, we love him very much. But we did get woken up last night by plasma bats, which is totally not a cool way to be disturbed from our sleep. So she wants to acquire a plasma bat bait. And she actually asked around the bakery while she was at work, like, so where's the best place to get plasma bat bait for totally not personally related reasons? Because <sighs> her little rundown bakery actually does have creepy crawlies this week. Um, but they said to go over... Dun, dun, dun. And that she should check out what the farmer or what the, the little flea market has. And it's like the Salty Shack flea market or something like that. It's really cute. I just plucked it off. The Salty Paws Farmer's Market. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, Clover, let's go ahead and give you a treat so that you have some food because we've been traveling a lot today. But this is the Salty Paws Farmer's Market. I was hoping, I think some of these things will actually open up on their own because there is a Salvadoradian. Oh, and let's actually have Clover come chase these birds. <laughs> Maybe we'll complete the feather thing really quickly. And now she's gonna, I love the idea that she's browsing the web to try to figure out just who on earth that like Thorn Bailey guy is. Oh, he has a beef with some other celebrity. That's rude. Um, look at all of these. We don't want to steal them. I didn't mean to touch it. Here, we'll put that back. Uh, oh, and look at that. Clover just got us some more feathers. But this is the Salty Paws, um, yeah, Salty Paws little flea market. And we should actually have people like show up, I think, over time to come over and start manning some of these locations, like vendors who will show up. If not, I might just add in like a hundred some moles and be like, hey, hey people, here, Clover's gonna go have fun chasing some of the birds. And when she's done browsing the web, we're gonna open this up and maybe we'll complete our feather collection. Nice. Wow, there's only one repeat. Whoa, and 120 some moles for that parrot feather. Yeah, this must be a pretty exciting place. But yeah, where's our vendors? Are they gonna take donkey ears to get over here? Cause that's not what I had in mind. I oh who's this? Oh it's a oh it's a little chihuahua named Cashew. <gasps> Yay! I'm pretty sure this maybe no no not her maybe but Cashew the chihuahua is actually from one of my patrons. Oh hello! It's one of the very first patron animals that we've seen. This is so exciting. Hi little guy. Hi. All right, but I really need that Salvadoradian like vendor to show up, so I'm gonna actually try it adding to their money so money 479 and then we're gonna hire a vendor there we go a service okay good so hopefully someone will show up over here pretty soon but what can we do i was hoping can she like browse anything show oh i know what we can do let's have her come over and work on writing in her journal to kind of like write about this experience and I thought there'd be like more vendors. I think I need to use some sort of special mod to make there be more vendors. So we're actually going to money uh, 579. I don't think this is cheating whatsoever because we're not keeping the money and there should be vendors <laughs> like here doing things. There we go. Did I hire two? Okay, we hired one there. And then I wanna hire one here. Nice. There! Wait, this is food! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I thought this was actually going to be like the bat plasma stuff, but this would be like the flea market, salty paws farmer's market that we could expect to see like different food resources at. <gasps> this is another one! Sierra Lake is actually one of my patrons, Sims! And here she is selling fresh fruits and vegetables. And doesn't she just look so precious? Oh my gosh. We're gonna have some friends, hopefully. Friends, oh, thank you very much, Clover. Now we have even more. Nice, and we've got more food over here. This is fantastic. Clover's having a good time. We're gonna give him a little pet. We are not gonna, well, she wants to order food. Oh my gosh, the Grim Reaper gnome scared me. Kinda as badly as the half baby and bun, like teddy bear in the ground. Oh my goodness. Uh, but all right, let's see. She's gonna pet Clover. But yeah, darn guys, sorry about that. I really thought that the Salvadoradian person would be here. And we have some food that we can actually get here. So let's go ahead and try out a different meal. She does want to have some excellent food. Let's see what she decides to order up. Some fish tacos. They're normal quality, unfortunately. So it's not excellent quality. But we'll go ahead and pet Clover for just a second. And then we'll head home. Because I thought I would be able to find, like, at this little market. Maybe, like, people, for one thing. There's a lot of people walking dogs. That's good. Oh, Clover, do you want to dig in this? Can you dig in that? I think Clover can dig in these fish for like some dinner. And there's, oh, look at that. We have Eve's son, Lily, a walking cashew. We have more new people to meet. This is so exciting. And it looks like Clover is like begging for food over here. That's so adorable. All right, well, we might as well make the most out of this. We're eating some fish tacos really quickly. Who's that? Who's that cat? Ugh. 
missed it. And let's come over and maybe we can haggle just for fun uh, as a way of chit chatting. And then we can buy some produce, which would be kind of fun. <laughs> maybe Clover's listening to this lady yell and he's like, I can yell too. Oh, mom's moving. Gotta follow along. Apparently we're feeling really aww. We couldn't haggle. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to like, I didn't mean to offend you. That's not what I meant, Sierra. We'll go ahead and be nice. We'll try to, we'll, we'll be like, oh, we just came off wrong. Oh, what? A black rose. Sierra, why are you selling black roses? Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at all this stuff. And she also has some pink roses. Oh, that's so cool. And purple roses and pumpkin slices. Some of these are from my mods that I have. Somehow she's, Sierra's selling roses as well. That is so cool. Why are they so expensive? Oh my gosh, we can't afford these. <laughs> There's a plant of pomegranate and some onions and some mushrooms. We're so poor. I don't know if I can afford, what's the cheapest fruit? The apples. We're just gonna buy like a couple, uh, a few apples to kind of tide us over. Because that's all I've really got money for. And then we'll try to introduce ourselves. There we go. <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can introduce ourselves and try to be, like, make up for how we came off. Really sorry about that. I didn't mean to offend you. It was just a joke. I really love the food that you've got to offer. Um, can we show off our pet? Yeah, let's show off our pet. Everybody likes cats. And we'll see if we can try to get her to, like, forgive us. Like, hey, what do you think about my cat Clover? He's pretty cool, huh? And then, let's see. Maybe brighten day to try to be nice. Because we want to be friendly. Oh, she seems to be taking the, taking the brighten day pretty nicely. Um, enthused about cats? Here, let's do a heartfelt compliment, because I think she'd feel badly for having offended her so early. And then let's go ahead and enthuse about cats for a minute. There we go. It's very nice to meet you, Sierra. And then Clover's like, I'm still here, Mom. Do you like cats too? Is that maybe a, a shared trait? Maybe? We don't know anything about her. Who knows? She's trying very hard to do her job right now. Oh, are we coming over to enthuse about cats? Oh, we're showing our cat off because we enthused about cats. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look, we're just gonna we're just gonna help out. We're gonna roll up our sleeves and start. I didn't know you could even walk back there. <laughs> and and like Sky, like uh, Amelia is just like I'm just gonna help. Like I'm gonna get right in. I'm really sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to like upset you or anything. You have great produce. I could turn it into some delicious food. No, none of those refined sugar things. I can't believe how cute this is. All right, can we show off our pet this way? Okay, time to go home. Well, can we say goodbye somehow? It is a stargaze. Give gift. Do we have any food? Do we have any food? Like of our food? We do not. All right, uh, let's go ahead and funny uh, buy produce actions. I guess we're, we're just going to go and we are going to travel back to our little bakery now. That was a very busy first day inside of... <laughs> there you go. Come on, Clover. That was a very, very busy first day inside of Brindleton Bay for our wonderful Amelia Sky Baker. And we're going to have to see if she's a step closer to being able to start working on that whole fame thing. Uh, we definitely have to change her clothes. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cats, even. Let's get back inside. Let's let her go ahead. Oops, don't. No, 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 don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Use the heat restroom, take a shower, and then we'll see what we can afford after today's big adventures. Uh, Vlad, hello there. I just wanted to welcome you to the community. And my, that's a lovely neck you have there. That's creepy. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we have. Get. No, no, no. We're good. We're good, Vlad. We're good. That door is locked. Yeah, that door is locked. <laughs> we're good, Vlad. We're good. We don't sell plasma cake yet, but we'll remember that we want to be very inclusive to our entire community. Uh, we'll look into selling some plasma cake in the future. Not at the moment. Thank you very much. 
But in order to run this place as a bakery, we actually need to have a little display counter. And we also need to have just basically like more bakery stuff here. So I was thinking what we might do is we'll go ahead and I want her to at least have a computer and maybe a little media center to share more stuff with her grandma about Clover. She'll probably work. No, go away, Vlad. Oh my gosh, you were so creepy. Clover, run! Why is she embarrassed? Oh, from being a heartless haggler. Oh, she feels badly for having been a heartless haggler. That's adorable. We might want to get Clover some more things. Vlad might be like, is this that cat I saw on Simstagram with Thorn Bailey? Hmm. That's kind of adorable. All right. So we're going to come over and we do want to, like, we don't have a lot of money, but I want it to at least look somewhat like a cafe before we open the place up. Oh, is something done growing over here? Oh, we can harvest some snapdragons and maybe, like, make a little display of snapdragons. I could totally see her going to try flower arranging classes. Like, that's the kind of thing about Amelia is that she's going to be one of those sims who's always willing to join a new club and try out new hobbies. She's very, very open-minded like that. Oh, it looks like Vlad is actually a cat lover. So he wants to come to the, maybe he wants to rescue, like for real and not in a scary like, wah ha I am really an evil vampire. But maybe he wants to rescue a cat. Uh, that's adorable. Let's go ahead and decorate the pumpkins outside. Thank you, Grandma, for bringing us the pumpkins. I'll put an inventory. Oh, and it looks like we actually have a little ball. Will the cats play with that? I don't know. We'll put it out and see what happens. That must be something that Clover found. All right, and then we'll wrap the day up by opening up these feathers. I do want to make the, the cafe actually look a bit more like a cafe, and I do want her to at least have a computer before we start like having her. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell that. Oh, do we almost have the whole complete feather collection? Clover is a very good feather collector. We're only missing two feathers. Clover, you are a miraculously amazing feather collector. And just for fun, let's start putting up the pictures that we have of uh, Clover's big day and how he has been having a great time. Look at all this. Clover and Thorn. I can't believe that. That is so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then as we get enough money, we will go ahead and get ourselves a computer and get her all set up and then work our way up to being able to... Oh, she needs to get her fun up too work our way up to being able to open this place up and adopt some kittens that we will then be able to rescue. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh my goodness. If you could, please leave a like for Clover and all of his big adventures that he has had today. And if you have not yet subscribed, do please consider doing so for this and so many more adventures that we are going to be having. And uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying everything so far, because I know I am. It's kind of off to a slow start, but once we have enough money to start selling our own goods, I think that things are going to really pick up, and I'm super invested in getting a little drone and a computer soon so that we can send better pictures to our grandma. Having had Clover run into Thorn of all things, is he singing? We were being serenaded by a vampire through the window. What a life. This is the kind of stuff that you would only believe it if it was on camera. So this is why we need a better camera. And why not just get a little drone? Because the drone could follow Clover around. And how cute would that be? Maybe that's an idea that we'll have pretty soon. Uh, and add to the <laughs> add to the bakery. And then we might even go out pretty often just to let you guys know. What is this? Meet a celebrity event from Orchid to Go. Huh. I mean, we could do that, or a talent showcase, or we could volunteer at the shelter. Uh, but yeah, you'll start seeing her kind of get into a lot of different clubs, and we'll start going to different events where she'll she'll try out flower arranging class, for instance, uh, where she might try out a baking class, or she might try out a yoga class. It'll be really fun. But all right, so I'll see you guys next time, and I really hope being serenaded through the window by a vampire isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Bye, guys.